Good afternoon, everybody. So in keeping with today's weather, which is absolutely scorching, um, I thought I would bring you one of my curveballs in the series of the Arts of Courts and Kings that I promised you. And today, we're going to be looking at, in just a tiny little bit of detail, one of, quite arguably, the best known, or if not one of the best known works of art or artefacts in the world, which is the Mask of Tutankhamun. So, let's have a closer look. So what's really important to remember, first and foremost, when we're looking at this object, is that it was actually never intended to be seen by human eyes. And it was the same for most, if not all, art produced in ancient Egypt. It was actually a functional purpose. It was nothing aesthetic or decorative about it. Everything was produced for a worship basis. And this mask is exactly the same. It was discovered in the 1920s by Howard Carter, who unearthed the entire tomb of Tutankhamun, and it's one of the greatest finds in probably the history of the world. So as you can see, the mask is incredibly detailed and very beautifully handcrafted, which is incredible to consider that it was locked away in a tomb never to be seen by anyone, but it was meant to be used by the young king to help guide him through the afterworld, along with all the other objects of art and um, transport which were also found in the tomb. The mask itself is actually made from gold and carat wise we believe it's between 22 and 26 carats as it varies in thickness and standard across the mask but what's particularly interesting is the back of the mask which I'll just show you a little clip of now. So what we're looking at here is the back of the mask which in comparison to the front um, is um, not as well sort of documented and or recognisable. But what you can see here is that it's continued of course the detail from the front but right at the bottom is it's inscribed with hieroglyphics and what this actually is is a spell from the Book of the Dead and this was used by the Egyptians to help the person that has died move through the afterlife with ease. So there we are coming full circle on one of the world's greatest works of art, the Mask of Tutankhamun, which although aesthetically beautiful, its purpose was merely for worship and to help serve as an object which would see the king through his new life in the underworld. Thank you so much for listening. If you have enjoyed this video, please make sure that you like it. And if you're interested in what I do, please make sure that you're following my Instagram page, which is at Joe's Art History. I'll be back soon with more Instagram posts and a few more videos. Bye.